edition level one. Welcome everybody. Today I want to introduce you to our special friend, Byra. <laughs> you are so much fun, Byra. <laughs> Byra, I'm going to make you fetch some oranges and we're going to learn some basic addition today. <laughs> okay, get me two oranges first. <laughs> Now get me three oranges. I'm going to add these oranges and see how many they are. When we say add, we mean joining or combining them together. So, now let's combine the two sets of oranges. We have two oranges at the top and three oranges on the next line. Let's move them all. In one row. Let's count the oranges now. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, and that's five. So when we add two oranges with three oranges, we get five oranges. Let's see what happens when we add ice creams. I'm going to put two ice creams at the top and three ice creams at the bottom. Or combine them. Let's count the total ice creams now. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, and that's five. Let's see what happens when we add some toys. I'm going to put two toy trains at the top and three toy trains at the bottom. Now, let's add them or combine them. Let's count the total toy trains now. addition with different set of numbers. I'm going to get some chocolates to show how this works. Okay, that's three chocolates at the top and four chocolates at the bottom. Now let's add them or combine them. Let's count the total chocolates now. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, Now, okay, that's three apples at the top and four apples at the bottom. Now, let's add them or join them. Let's count the total apples now. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, and that's seven. We can say when we add three and four of any object, we get seven. Don't forget to put the plus sign, which is a symbol for addition. Let's make this even more interesting. Let's do addition with different set of numbers. I'm going to use my favorite fruit. That's strawberries. Okay, that's five strawberries at the top. And four strawberries at the bottom. Now, let's add them or join them. Let's count the total strawberries now. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. And that's nine. I'm going to try this with one of my other favorites. That's candies. Okay. That's five candies at the top. Or join them. Let's count the total candies now. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. And that's nine. We can say when we add five and four of any object, we get nine. Of course, we put the plus sign for addition. Basic Subtraction Level 1 Welcome 
Welcome everybody! I want to introduce you to our new friend, Rangu. You probably already know Baira. I can see you both are very excited. We're going to learn the concept of subtraction with your help. First, let's count the number of apples in this bowl. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. And that's five. Baira. Can you get me one apple? I'm going to keep this apple on the other ball. Rangu, it's your turn now. Please get me one apple. I'm going to keep this apple also on the same ball. Okay, Baira and Rangu, let's do the counting again. First, let's count the apples in the bowl over there. That's one. That's two and that's three. Earlier we had five apples and now we have only three apples. Let's see how many apples we have on the other ball. That's one and that's two. We reduced two apples from that ball and kept it on this ball. When we reduce something, we call it a subtraction. We can say we subtract two apples from the five apples. What we were left was three apples. We know we had five apples in the bowl at first. Then we subtracted two apples from that bowl and put it in the other bowl. For subtraction, we add a minus sign, something like this. So, now we have three apples left. When we subtract two from five, we get three. This works the same with candies too. In fact, whenever we subtract 2 from 5 or anything, we'll always get 3. Let's take a look. That's 5 candies in total. Let's subtract 2 candies out of it. That's 1 candy. And that's the second candy. What we have left is 1, 2 and 3 candies. Ok, let's try this with ice creams. Take a look. That's 5 ice creams in total. Let's subtract two ice creams out of it. That's one ice cream. And that's the second ice cream. What we have left is one, two, and three ice creams. Now, let's see what happens when we have a total of seven ice creams and we subtract three ice creams from it. Take a look. That's seven ice creams in total. Let's subtract three ice creams out of it. That's one, two, and three ice creams. What we have left is one, two, three, and four ice creams. I know you're already thinking about the ice creams. Ice creams are real yummy, isn't it? Now let's look at another yummy thing. A fruit, strawberry. Let's start with seven strawberries and subtract three strawberries out of them. Let's see what happens. That's seven strawberries in total. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. A total of seven strawberries. Let's subtract three strawberries out of it. That's one, two, and three strawberries. What we have left is one, two, three, and four strawberries. I hope you all liked it and you all learned how subtraction works. Thank you, Baira and Rangu. You were very helpful today. That's all we have of simple, basic subtraction. It's time to play with Baira again. See you soon.